Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a good day. I'm actually taking a quick break away from the office to make a quick run. Uh, and then I'll be coming back, uh, finish, finish up my day. Uh, I wanna talk to you about something that is probably not gonna sit well with uh, some of you, especially women. Um, but it's something that needs to be addressed because oftentimes we take on mindsets and ideas uh, that were formulated from constructs that were actually designed to work against our interests. One of those philosophies or ideas that I see or hear constantly um, is the notion uh, within the backs, uh, within the black uh, collective that men should not be celebrated for doing things that they should do. And it is said so often that it starts to make sense. Why should you get celebrated for doing something you should do? Well, actually, that's how the world operates. You get credit for doing what you're supposed to do in any situation and anywhere else, except for if you're a black man, and then you know, you don't, you're know you not supposed to get credit for it. Now, nobody else is having that stripped away, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you why it doesn't make sense, because you look at people, a lot of people are going like, why should he get credit for doing what he should be doing anyway? Because number one is, that's how the social design and the nature of man is created by God to respond to the affirmation of a woman. And it, it's literally one of the most powerful forces that drives a man, but I'm gonna tell you how it works. There were, was starting in the 50s and moving into the 60s, uh, a lot of things done by uh, the government and the wealthy elite to alienate the black man in the black home. Uh, now granted, the, the black man did not help himself uh, with a number of different uh, erroneous behaviors and mindsets and responses to this outward influence. But ultimately, there was a notion that commodified the black man. He was primarily a provider. I mean, the idea of a, black, a man being a provider was pushed very heavy in the black community. And uh, simultaneously, the black man was being castrated financially and economically, being underemployed and unemployed. Simultaneously, again, Black women were being invited into the workforce and even into corporate America at an increasing rate moving forward. So you went from a place where you commodify a man where his primary value to his community, to his home, to his family is the money that he brings in, but then you, uh, you sit up and you manipulate and control and restrict what he's able to bring in while in many cases creating avenues that in which his uh, the black woman could out earn him, but also introducing social programs that allow black women to be able to survive without the money of the black man. And in many instances, only being able to get that service if there was not a black man present. Well, during the same time, there was this idea that came from the frustration of men not being able to do that, that when men did do it, they were only doing what they were supposed to do and they didn't deserve credit for it. Well, the problem with that is no matter where you go, if you work on your job and you do your job exactly how your job is supposed to be done, not an inch more, at the end of the year, they're gonna tell you you did a great job, they're gonna give you a 5% raise. Uh, if you do it consistently enough over time, they're gonna give you an employer the money at some particular point. My point, and, 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 and these are real superficial, anecdotal uh, uh, comparisons, but I'm just making a point. There's no other construct, a social construct you can go into where a person does what they're supposed to do and then they're told, you, you, 
you don't get any credit for that. You, you don't get any praise for that. Everybody gets it. If you do what you're supposed to do and you do it right, the better you do it, the more praise you get, but you get acknowledged for it. Even in school, you can do it half-ass right, get a D and still pass. And, and it's an acknowledgement of you get a diploma with a D average, passing. But now let me explain to you why it's important and why it's hurting the black community. Forget all of that, thinking that a man needs, you know, uh, whatever and all this. Let me explain something to you. The design of the man is to respond to the affirmation of the woman. Uh, there are two ways that a woman affirms a man. She affirms him with her speech and she affirms him by the surrender of herself to him physically. That's why you have so many men who are jumping bed to bed and this isn't a, a, a validation of whoremongering it's an explanation of poor behavior that's why you get so many men jumping from bed to bed is there's a a, a point in which a, 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 a woman giving herself to him in his subconscious in his spirit in the very uh deepest recesses of his being it affirms his manhood now he may not be a man especially if he's jumping from woman to woman he may not have evolved into and matured into manhood but that's one of the ways naturally and spiritually he's affirmed so he feels this feeling but that's exactly why if he hasn't matured and learned how to connect with a woman he jumps up and he goes and he runs somewhere else because he's trying to get that feeling again it's something that literally drives him it's the apex of his uh, affirmation because nothing affirms the man of a woman, uh, uh, the man of a man like a woman. Another brother can't come up to you and tell you how much of a man you are. That's not how it's designed. That's why a man responds to that. Well, when a woman affirms a man verbally, you will find out if you tell if you tell your your boyfriend or your husband. I really love the way you do that. You do that so well. He's gonna do it better the next time. He's gonna try harder the next time. He said, man, you know, you do so well. I love the way you take care of us. I love the way you protect us. I, you know, I love the fact that you have the finances under control, or I love the fact that you carry the vast majority of the load of the finances, whatever your particular situation is. I love the fact that I can count on you, uh, on your loyalty, uh, that I don't have to worry about you creeping around. All things that a man should do, but you're sitting up acknowledging that he's doing it. And what it does is it registers that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. This shit feels good. I'm going to go out and do it again. But when you sit up and you tell a man, why should I have to give you credit for doing what you're supposed to do? At what point is he going to get credit? Because the truth is, to whatever extent a man is capable of doing something, that's what he's supposed to do. So the better I get at doing something, the more I'm able to do. I'm supposed to do that. There's never a point where I'm not, where I'm doing more than what I should be doing. If I'm with my wife, there's no point in which I'm doing more than what I should be doing so I can qualify to be told I'm doing a good job. Because the better I get, the more I'm supposed to do. The more I get, the more I'm supposed to give. The stronger I get, the better protector I become. And I'm supposed to do that. So what at, point, at what point do I, I get to hear, I love you for being what you're being? Now I'm not even speaking about, my wife tells me, I thank you for this, I thank you for that. I appreciate you for this. I appreciate you for that. And I do the same thing for her. But what you have to understand is, uh, I would tell everybody who is seriously thinking about being in a relationship, and this goes beyond relationships, because there's a lot of people you, with people that you're connected to people from your past because you have kids with them. You need to understand this too. I would tell everybody to read this book by uh, Willard Harley. Will, I think it's Willard Harley, Willard F. Harley. Uh, the, uh, the name of the book is His Needs, Her Needs, and... Uh, a guide to an affair-proof marriage. But what it tells you, it shows you the difference in the needs and the desires of each party. They're not the same. And a lot of times we want to treat people how we want to be treated. And we want to handle people how we want, want to be handled. But it doesn't work that way in a marriage because a man's needs and desires is different than a woman's needs and desires. A woman wants to be loved and loved and wanted. She wants to be secure. She wants to feel protected and safe. But it starts with love. The first thing a woman is going to be searching when things don't feel right is, do you love me? Does his actions reflect that he loves me? Now, a man wants to be loved, but that's not his number one desire. His, it's not even his number two desire. The man's number one desire is to be respected, to be revered, to, to be looked at a, a, in a manner and handled in a manner that says, I hold you in high regard. The second need of a man is to actually feel needed.
He wants to be needed. He wants to be respected more than he wants to be loved and he wants to be needed more than he wants to be wanted. Why? Because the anchor of his whole connection to that is the need. See, a person can change what they want, but if they need you, they're, they're, they're more likely to be committed to having you. Whereas in, shoot, man, if I want you, it depends on what I want you for. See, if I want you because of that, them, th th those nice shoulders, that nice check and that six pack, somebody comes on with nicer shoulders or nicer chest and a tighter six pack, uh, that might be out the window. If I want you because of that six figure income, somebody comes along with a seven figure income, that might be out of there. But if I can find some needs that you provide that are unique to you, that are special. Now, yes, I I, 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 I would love you to be looking nice and, and, and all of that. I would love you to be able to handle and be able to take care of me. That's That, that, that would be great. But if that's a special way you talk to me, if that's a special way you listen to me, if that's a special way that you are able to uh, help me resolve some situations and, and, and concerns in my life, and you do it in a way that just makes me feel so safe and secure. And I'm talking about a woman and how her man makes her feel. If there are some things that you can do like that, then I need that from you because you put me in a place that I've never been before. You put me in a place that I've never felt before. You put me in a place that gives me the best chance to be the best version of myself. I need you in my life. That right there is what he wants. He wants to know he has purpose. See, being wanted and desired, that's all cool, especially for the ego when you're young. See, when I was young, you know, you know, having 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 having, having uh, the attention of women and them looking and ooing and all, it was was great. But see, that was something deeper inside. And the older I got, the more it started to rise to the top and demand something more. I needed to be able to be more than just uh, a handsome man with a nice body. I needed to be more than a guy that drove a nice whip. I needed to be more than a guy that had a sweet bank account. That was something I needed. I wanted to be able to just be able to speak to a woman and calm her. I wanted to be able to have my demeanor provide security and a nice environment. I wanted to be able to be a total person. It was driving me. And then when I got there, and then the woman said, man, the way you talk to me, I've never been talked to it that, that way before. I'm supposed to talk to you that way, so should you not acknowledge it? I'm supposed to talk to you that way. Should you not acknowledge it? I'm supposed to treat you like a lady. Should you not acknowledge it? I'm supposed to handle you with care and concern. Should you not acknowledge it? Absolutely, you're supposed to acknowledge it. The idea that because you are supposed to do it means you shouldn't be acknowledged for it is absolutely ridiculous. And let me tell you, it, a man is designed to respond to that acknowledgement. It will drive him to be better. It will drive him to do better. And, and on the flip side, if he's trying his best and he's out there doing his his best and there's no acknowledgement of the sacrifice he's making and the hard work he's putting in eventually he's going to burn out eventually he's going to feel unappreciated eventually he's going to feel like his, his work has no landing it, it, it's not doing what it should be doing and he's probably going to vote or he's going to find someone who is going to affirm him the idea that affirming a man is is a bad thing i mean the idea of affirming a man. You want him to do certain things, but it, at what point is this... See, this whole thing is, where is this universal line of performance that says, okay, when you do this much, then you'll, 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 you'll get acknowledged. Where is this universal line? It doesn't exist because a man is supposed to give you what he has. And what you're hoping is every day he's waking up and trying to be a better person and trying to be better in every area so he can give you more of what he's been giving you and he gets better because he's supposed to. At no point is he ever going to be giving you more than he should so that you can sit up and say, okay, you're doing more than the average or you're doing more than what you're supposed to do. No, he's doing what he's supposed to do at all times and it's never going to be more than he's supposed to do because that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to give you all of him. And so he's never going to qualify for this extra whatever it is that we got our women looking for out there and handling our men and talking about, you know, I, I've seen I've seen stuff like one day they were just showing this guy. There was this video of this guy and how he was keeping his house. And somebody came on there, some black female came on there. Why is so much 
a ruckus being made about a man doing what he's supposed to do. Well, number one is men are not historically known as being overly organized and straightening things out. Uh, that's not our strong suit. I, I, I like to keep a clean house, and if it's just me, the house is clean because I don't mess up. I'm not necessarily the most organized person. It's just not who I am. I'm not nasty, and I'm not junky, but I am not the most neat, organized person. I, I like to have a woman who is because, you know, she'll be on me. Uh, no, no, hey, I know you're not going to lay that right there, you know, or whatever. And it drives me because I want her to be happy, and I don't want her fussing. So, it, you know, the little stuff I might leave over there, I'll pick it up. But I'm talking about this dude was probably OCD clean and this this female came on and had some, then that was another thing where a d dad was spending time with his daughter and and, and, and it, it was great and everybody was oohing on about it somebody came in like, why is somebody tripping and and all over this here when he do when, when when he's doing what he's why is it that a man black man has to be celebrated for doing what he's supposed to be doing because all men should be celebrated for doing what they're supposed to be doing let me explain something to you anything that you will criticize a person for not doing, that person should be celebrated when they do it. It's the same way that you encourage and inspire your kids. When they do something they're supposed to do, you don't sit up and go, well, well, you know. No, you reward them for doing what they're supposed to do, and you punish them for not doing for not doing what they're supposed to do. That never stops. It never gets to a point where you're a man now. You don't get no recognition. You don't get any acknowledgement. And what you realize, that mindset actually hurts you. Because while you're trying to come hard at a guy and tell him he ain't stepped up enough, he don't deserve it for just doing what he's supposed to do, what you'll find is you're eventually turning him off. And he's going to find somebody that appreciates him enough to verbalize it. We've got to stop that. That's something that's got to quit. And it's, it, it's a predominantly black thing. You don't hear, I, 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 you know, I, I'm in circles outside of the black community. I operate in circles, out, and I don't hear that. I don't hear that in other spaces. I don't hear that in other spaces. And I, I want to see us heal, and we can't heal it. And just like, you, and, and ladies, you know I can do this because I go at the men hard as hell about how they handle you. But you can't expect me to get men to want to just go all out with you when you're talking to them rough and handling them rough. And I'm not talking about men being sensitive to what women say because women are emotional and they'll say stuff. I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a mindset that won't allow you to acknowledge the work that a man is putting in. Because a man is supposed to be growing. And if that man is growing, if that man is getting better, he deserves to be acknowledged. If you don't think so, you probably don't need to have one. And if you got one, and you're not acknowledging him and he's not tripping on it, somebody else is. Just take my word for it. I've been doing this a long time. Take my word for it. On that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I'm going to get ready to get out of here. But I had to bring that to the table because I'm sick and tired of that mindset that, you know, there's something wrong with a man because he feels like he's unappreciated because he's not being acknowledged. And what, what gets me is, the crazy thing is, something as simple as, baby, I really love how you do that, will get you so much more than taking that hardcore approach on it, you know, like he's a wimp or weak or something because he's, he's, he, he, he seems to need your affirmation. He doesn't need your affirmation. He does need to be affirmed. And uh, uh, me personally, I've learned how to affirm myself, but I'm still telling you, that's something when your woman tells you, you're doing what you already know you're doing. You know, there's something about that. And any man knows what I'm talking about if he's honest with himself. Anybody who studied what I've studied for long understands the psychological dynamic behind it. It, it, it. The affirming power of a woman with a man is unparalleled to me. That's why I don't believe any man could ever get to the height of what he can be without a woman. I don't care how much you, there's some guys that have done some unbelievably splendid stuff. And still, I think there's a whole nother level if there's a woman that you add to that equation. It just simply is. 
And I think it goes both ways. I think that a man brings something to the table that allows a woman to expand. It doesn't complete them. It enhances their capacity. And, and, and that's so important. But what we cannot do is consistently sit around and let old ideas that were pushed upon us by nefarious intentions to sit up and muddy the way we approach and deal with each other. We got to be better than that. We got to be better than that. I had to bring this to the table. I know some people ain't going to like it because it's always everybody else's fault and, 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 and everything else and nobody wants to look at and be honest with themselves and hold themselves accountable for being better in the way they approach things. Uh, but nevertheless, I said what I said and I meant it. On that note, I'm out of here.